Yo guys, what's up and welcome to a new video from me. In today's video I want to show you a new crazy Lava Hound deck which just plopped up. I didn't believe it, but this deck is really number 5 in the world right now. So in my opinion it's incredible that the deck just like this one works and I'm pushing not somewhere. Actually I'm playing in the top 10 in the world right now to prove you guys that this deck really is working. And I think when I'm able beating opponents in the top 10 in the world you guys are also playing this deck everywhere in the world and now you guys can now you guys asking Carl, okay what is what is special with this deck in my opinion it's pretty special that this deck has no miner and no loon normally we are seeing a lava hound combined with a second wind condition just as the loon or just as the miner but right now we are just playing with lava hound free air support guards and that's actually it already so kind of crazy, kind of, yeah, cra crazy as I just said. Arrows are getting in, trying to kill the flying machine. Not the biggest deal. Also, I do have my barbarians right now. So, yeah, good starting hand. Drakes are getting in. Here we go, guys. Now I'm just getting down with barbarians in front of. For sure it could... Co uh, oh, shit, guys. He has his Drakes instantly back again. But luckily, the Drakes are not the best answer against my Evolution Barbarians. He also is forced playing some arrows. But I would say my Barbarians uh, yeah, were bad. To be fair, I just gave him too much value. Anyways, I still think I have a matchup against against Rakan, the best Lava Loon Miner player in the world. Without a Miner and without a Loon. So, yes, I just said it already, but... I was surprised when I just seen someone playing this deck because this is not a normal lava loon deck. He do not has any arrows in the hand, so why not just play, letting me down with Inferno Drake against this Inferno Drake, trying to kill Inferno Drake, but unfortunately he's just resetting. So this is just unfortunate. Fireball comes down. He's forced playing something just as arrows, for example. But he isn't doing that. Also, let me just get down with goblins. And the flying machine is just taking the whole tower down. This is funny, guys. Drakes are getting down. Arrows are also just getting down. I hope the, the loon is not even getting one hit. And it looks like as the loon is not getting even one hit. So I'm totally back in the game. For sure, my barbarians at the right lane were a huge mis mistake. Not No question about that. But luckily, I managed come making that. It's a great feeling. So here we go, guys. Flying Machine comes down as well. Now I'm asking myself, okay, how am I supposed defending that? I think it's time for Hyper Barbarians. It's time for some Skelly Drakes right here. It's also time for f Arrows. But unfortunately, I just failed them. Hopefully my Flying Machine is surviving. I mean, when the Flying Machine is surviving, it's a kind of game changer. <laughs> and yeah, guys, here we go. It's time for my Lava Hound. Flying Machine just survives even longer. Good flying machine. Norm Actually, a flying machine is out of out of meta right now. But in a in a game like that, in a matchup like that, somehow he's not. Goblins are getting down. It's time for a fireball. Here we go, guys, with the fireball. Also, the Inferno Drake is not dying. Also, I'm not having any reset. Unfortunately, obvious. So it's time for a flying machine. He still needs to defend the flying machine, I guess. But he isn't. He's just ready for getting the damage. It's just time for a second arrows. It's time for goblins. Hopefully I'm just getting no connection again. But I was yeah, I was hoping, but we didn't got what we wanted. Lava Hound comes down. Here we go, guys. Just getting the next ship damage. Fireball comes down as well. We're getting down with a flying machine at the right lane. I'm not sure about that, what he wants to play against that. He's playing just defensive barbarians. Pretty expensive for him, but I don't care about that. Arrows are coming down. It's time for an Inferno Drake. Here we go, guys. Goblins are getting down. I'm worried about a loon in the pocket, but all good, guys. Arrows are coming. Uh, Scale Drakes are coming down as well. This is just an insane, tough game. I guess you might or you do not have to be the best player in the world to understand how intense this game actually is. Hopefully my flying machine is surviving. Flying machine is surviving. Uh, is not surviving, but right now I just need to play defensive or as defensive as possible. And as long as I'm not getting any connection, I guess I just won this game. Giving Rakan the good game. This was a game, I think, probably on the highest level in the world. 
I just seen one mistake by my side, but at the end of the day, I managed winning against Rakan. Obviously, I had matchup, I had Skelly Drakes and Flying Machine, and he didn't have anything against that. But right now, we managed pushing with this deck, number, number three in the world, and the uh, road is not over yet. We are trying pushing even higher. All right, guys, and now being in the next game, playing against Kati, which is actually broken, also, also a German player. So let's just wish him good luck. Let's just see if we are managed beating him. The crazy fact and the crazy good fact about that, 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 uh, about that game is that he is pretty, pretty high. So it looks like as we are getting at least around about 25 to 26 trophies which is for sure not much but not forgetting we shouldn't forget that we are just incredible high already so getting even more trophies is i would say kind of crazy so arrows are getting down unfortunately the firecracker is just dealing the stupid stuff ever didn't even believe that the firecracker just walking opposite lane anyways it's time for some goblins right here, taking care of that. Um, I think his yeah, ice spirit was, an, was, a, was a waste. So let me get down with Inferno, with Inferno Drake right here. Getting down with some Drakes. Uh, we could call it an overcommit, but at the end of the day, we just got around about 1000 damage. Now I managed activating the King Tower. His next firecracker is going to be an evolution firecracker so this is something we shouldn't forget but at the end of the day we are just um yeah kind of damage even also playing now a flying machine taking care of of the of the, uh, of the wall breakers so it's all good guys now it's time for barbarian i guess it wasn't the best cracker by him but on the other side i mean his cracker just took care of my evolution barbarians so yeah it was also the, just the worst firecracker at the end of the day unfortunately this is just something you guys can do you guys just can play yeah firecracker at the bridge and you doing most of the times nothing really wrong about that so Fireball comes down. I would say this was not the best play by him. Now he gave me some value. It's also time for some barbarians. Hopefully no wall is connecting. Oh, this was, was, was just close. So arrows are coming down. Um, next flying machine comes down as well. Taking care of the bats. I'm ready with the fireball against the next firecracker. Here we go. Hopefully firecracker is not getting down onto my pups. Okay, at the end of the day, firecracker is getting down onto my pups, but still the pups are too hit by the tower. So, yeah, it doesn't matter to be fair. So, um, it's time for barbarians on the cracker. It's uh, just always feels so wrong, but I have to do it. And why does it feel wrong? Because now my barbarians are just, just useless in the offense as soon as one cracker just connects onto them. But it is how it is, guys. I would say it's time for the next flying machine, time for the next arrows, time for the next drakes against the wallies, which might come. Here we go, guys. I just failed my fireball. This is a big, big, incredible big deal. But my drakes are surviving. At least one drake is surviving. Now he has his evolution cracker in the hand. But let me keep grinding, guys. Let me just keep grinding. And let me try to win this somehow. Okay. Lava comes down right here. Fireball comes down. Barrels are also coming down. I would say it's time for some arrows. Here we go, guys, with arrows. Flying machine comes down as well. Holy shit, this, is ga this game is intense. This game is intense, not gonna lie. First fireball comes down. Here we're getting down with the barons. Getting down with everything just at the bridge. Trying cycling through to the next. Um. Yeah, through to the next stuff. Now playing aggressive fireball, giving him the game. No question, I have matchup, but still 
playing against Firecracker, again, playing against the evolved Firecracker always feels so hard. But now getting plus 22 with this deck, it's so stupid that the deck works because we are not playing with a miner, not playing with a balloon, but still, yes, guys, it's no question that the deck works because now we push to number two in the world and let me try to find one more game. And to be fair, it's pretty hard finding games because I'm just so high already in ladder. Now I'm searching for over 15 minutes. You guys can see also that my estimated time just is already over and the estimated time is just so so high it's already eight minutes and uh, yeah i just just searched for over 50 minutes as i just said so i guess it's not worth just wasting my time in the queue even the fact that we still wouldn't be number one when winning one or even two more games which wouldn't been enough for number one in the world so i think it's a perfect time for ending today's video thanks for all i'm doing or i'm trying to do daily uploads right now so i hope you guys all appreciate it appreciate this kind of effort so thanks for watching as always and see you next video bye guys